<clears throat> Welcome. Uh, today we are going to talk about IMDb system recommendation and we and with my colleague Victor Andres Gonzalez Daza and me, Santiago Ferravera, we'll explain to you how it works. Uh, first, what is IMDb? IMDb is the most popular database of movies, TV series, documentaries, and video games information focused on people who love visual entertainment. In this platform, there are different features uh, implemented, like the rating of movies uh, from 0 to 10, uh, also being able to save your movie, series, or video games preferred in a watch list. But what is the watch list? The watch list is a list uh, where the users can specify which movie, series, or video games they have watched it or play it, like it. Uh, imagine uh, you found a favorite movie and you start watching it, but you had um, to stop it because you have to do something else. Uh, and when you want to watch it again, uh, only you just uh, you just have to, to go to your watch list and continue watching it. In addition, IMDb uh, have a direct link to Prime Video. If the movie uh, or series is in the catalog or product in Amazon streaming service. Now we're gonna see how the actual recommender system of IMDb works. First we have this your watch list section where the user can add movies, TV series or video games that he or she have liked and watched. For this example we've created an account and we've added the following products. The imitation game which is drama, the hundred it's a TV series which is action and sci-fi, Lucifer is action and crime, Grey's Anatomy is drama, another TV show, the same as The Good Doctor is also drama. The Voice is another TV series, this is action. The Last of Us Part 2 is a video game, which is action, horror and drama. God of War is another video game, this is action. Bates Motel is a TV series, which is drama and horror. Inception is a movie, and it's uh, action, drama and sci-fi. Extraction is another movie and it is entirely action. And The Conjuring 2, which is another movie and it's based on horror. The recommendations are shown in the topics section. These recommendations are based on products in the watchlist, ratings made by other users, and variables like duration, genre, and in case of exclusivity in video games, the console, like PlayStation or Xbox. This implies that this recommender system uses a collaborative filtering technique because it uses the ratings of other users and the characteristic of the actual products or items in the watchlist. Now, these recommendations are too similar or the genres are too similar to those in the watchlist. We can see horror, action, drama, but there is nothing new, there is no romance, no comedy, and that's a problem. That's an over-specialization problem because I can't find anything new and I'm gonna be stuck with the with what I already like. This also can be because of low certain certain deputy levels. Another problem is that there is no option for helping the recommender be more reliable. What do I mean by this? I mean that for example, I don't like the conjure. There is no button or anything for me to let the recommender know I don't like the country and every time I go to my top big section the country is gonna be there and I don't want it and that's gonna be a bad recommendation and I can't fix it so that's a problem the data the data is pretty reliable because IMDB is owned by Amazon and Amazon is a reliable source of information the problem lies on the ratings. The ratings depend on users, and users are subject subjective. We can't trust a user when he's he's giving his opinion about a movie, a TV show, etc. But IMDb has a way to fight this problem, and that's with the Metascore. The Metascore is a score from Metacritic, 
which is a platform, one of the most famous platforms of rating movies, TV shows. But the difference between this Metascore and the ratings, uh, the IMB, IMDB ratings, is that the Metascore is not based on user's opinion. It's based on famous film critics' opinion, gamers' opinion, opinion or people that truly know what they're talking about. Now, search engine. IMDb has a powerful search engine which has multiple filtering options like name of the title, episodes, cast, crew members, and it's really easy to use. And has a more advanced option where we can find uh, movies or anything by plot, quota, trivia. But the problem is that it's the results are no are not the best. For example, we search by plot the word superheroes. And the first results were Mystery Man and Birdman, but we hope to find movies like Avengers, Batman, something more commercial and, and famous. Mystery Man is not a well-known movie, uh, it's not so good, but it's superheroes. It should be there, but it shouldn't be the first option. Now, Birdman. Birdman is a really good movie, but it's not actually a superhero movie. It's related with the superhero world, but it's more a drama. A relationship between a father and daughter so it shouldn't be the second option either so there this the order of the of the movies is is not the best it should be sorted by rating the meta score but this is this shouldn't be the first options also IMDB have a tab that show and recommend the most popular movies documentary series and video games around the world uh, with uh, their rate. Uh, thanks for watching this presentation. Goodbye.